Oh. I am Ryan. Can I have you hold your head in? You'll get iron. Oh, really? Let's try it out. I, I, I don't know about that. That's not a very smart idea. Now, I, I, I mean, I'm warning you. You, you might want to exhale that, you, babe. Uh, babe. Babe. I tried telling you. I tried telling you not to hold it in. Why would you hold it in? <laughs> I got a cold influence that passed out on me. Hey guys, it's Thomas and Angel back. My um, buddy. Yeah, with our doggy. Uh, I hope you guys like the skit. We're trying to have a little bit more fun over here on our YouTube. Don't worry, nobody got hurt in that video. Um, not fully. Not my fully. might be a little bruised from <laughs> collapsing on the ground, but that's um, about it. So if you guys <laughs> like that skit, let us know, because we would love to do more things like that <laughs> in the future. And also, today's video is going to be pretty simple. We're starting off our myth busting series today. And in today's myth that we wanted to bust, we wanted to keep it simple. Most of you should already know this because this is a pretty well known myth that's already been debunked. It is the myth of holding in a hit. Uh, for any of you guys out there who think that holding a hit in longer gets you higher, I'm here to tell you that you're a moron. <laughs> And there's a reason why you're a moron, because you only think one thing logically, but you don't think about the other things logically. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go through here in just a second, and I'm going to show you guys some of the reasons why holding a hit in does not get you higher, and why you're actually harming yourself more than you're helping yourself. And I hope after today's video, mm -hmm. any of you guys with any questions out there about that, all of these questions get answered, and yeah. So, also, if you stay to the end of the video, we'll have a little announcement for the end of the video. Anyways, guys, thanks, much love, and here we go. So, here's the first part of the article that I want to show you. And the most important part of the article here for me is this paragraph. Although, if you guys want to read that part above, you can. It's pretty simple. Just tells you how much that, you know, lungs can hold, how much oxygen exchanges after you breathe, and why you breathe in a rhythmic way. Blah, blah, blah. All right. But th this stuff right here is kind of interesting. So when you first off, for anyone who do, who does this, when you hold your token, first off, one of the reasons why it feels like it's stronger is because you are depriving yourself of oxygen. So when you deprive yourself of oxygen, you're going to make your brain feel more lightheaded. And that lightheadedness in turn will make your high feel more intense. Now, there's some other reasons. And I'm going to go through here. This picture I wanted to show too because this has been proven in the medical field. 90% of all possible THC is absorbed near instantly upon inhale. That has actually been proven. I've seen that on multiple websites. I've also seen that on medical websites as well. Now here, this is where this gets interesting. So let's see here if I could find it. Ah, yes. When you deprive yourself of oxygen as well, you start to pump adrenaline into your body because your body is saying, oh shoot, am I gonna, you know, need to get oxygen soon? What's happening? Well, that adrenaline in turn gives you more of a high sensation. So that's another reason why you feel like you're more high. Another symptom of this, and I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit more here. Another symptom of oxygen deprivation is the tingling sensation of your skin and face. And I have felt this before. This is very, um, you know, associated with oxygen deprivation. And I'm going to tell you right now, there are ways of testing for this. Now, I wasn't going to show this for the kids out there who do this. Apparently, there are kids out there who still do this. And I'm not telling anyone to go out and do this. I am going to tell you to do what the article says. And if you do want to test this out for yourself because you still don't believe me, just make sure that you have someone watching you. So if something happens, they can call the medical, uh, <clears throat> medical people, you know, trauma, whatever, EMS to come help you. Or they could take you to the hospital if you don't come back to. So just, you know, take that, all of this right here. And please be careful. I'm not telling you to go out and be stupid and to test this. I believe this because I've been in sports before and I've had vertigo from different things from, you know, being in sports. I'm sure people out there might know what I'm talking about. Don't do that. 
I do want to show you this though because I want to show you that there's actually ways of testing the lightheadedness and how your skin will feel when you deprive yourself of oxygen if you really want to test it out for yourself. So anyways guys, with that, I'm going to go back over here and I'm just going to talk a little bit more briefly with everyone. All right, so we just showed you some of those news articles. Um, for any of you guys out there who want to get higher and you want to up your game, first off, we have a Patreon channel designed for helping people like you find products out there that can get them to the level that they want to be at. The description will be in the uh, in, or I'm sorry, the link will be in the description below. And if you want, you should definitely go check that out. Also, there are other ways of getting higher. I'll just give a couple of them here just to name edibles and concentrates. And I would not mind doing a video in the future about how to properly take dabs on YouTube. That video might get demonetized or age restricted, but I don't mind doing something for people who are really trying to figure out how to properly take dabs. Yeah. I've seen a lot of information online about it. Not all of it is true. Some of, A lot of it is because people are getting smarter with it today. But if you guys want me to do a video on it, anyone watching, just let me know. Um, I really appreciate doing this. Today's myth was holding a hidden, whether or not it gets you high, and the myth is busted. It does not. In fact, it harms your lungs and it puts more toxins into your lungs. Yep. So just keep that in mind, guys, and everyone out there who is using cannabis on a daily basis. Try to be smart about it. And also don't encourage your friends to hold the hits in telling them that it gets you, them higher because actually what you're doing is you're harming your friends. And that's not very good. No, so it's not. It's really not. It's not nice to your friends it, either. It's not. Don't lie to your friends. Be honest with them. Share this video. Let people know. And if your friend thinks it, tell them they're a moron and not to do it. Yeah, call your friend a moron because he is. Uh, anyone who holds their hit and thinking that they get higher is a moron. And sorry, but I'm just being honest. Yeah, you want to snore <laughs> your lungs and yeah. deprive well, yourself of oxygen. That's yeah, you want to you want to kill some brain cells up here and deprive yourself of oxygen. Go for it, but I'm not going to be a part of that because I don't nope. want to kill my brain cells. Same. I like my brain cells. So, Same. anyways, guys, much love, peace, have a great day.